My name is Salim al -Haq. I'm Director of the International Center for Climate Change and Development uh, based in Bangladesh and also Senior Fellow at the International Institute for Environment and Development based in London. And I'm going to talk about uh, something called the long-term goal in terms of the temperature target or the long-term temperature target. Uh, a few years ago in Copenhagen, one of the things that countries had agreed on uh, in the, when the heads of state met uh, was that the temperature target uh, for setting a dangerous threshold or a definition of what a dangerous threshold temperature would be, would be two degrees. And this is one of the things that uh, President Obama and the President of China actually agreed on. But there was a dissenting voice in that group and that was the voice of President Nasheed uh, of the mm -hmm. Maldives, who was then President of the Maldives, who was speaking on behalf of both the small island developing states as well as the least developed countries who disagreed with the two degree temperature target saying that it wasn't good enough to protect the most vulnerable countries uh, on the planet. And he wanted, and these countries also wanted, a one and a half degree temperature target. Um, however, the agreement was for the two degrees, but with a caveat, which was that they would revisit this temperature target in 2015. And between 2013 and 2015, they would have a review of the long-term temperature target. And that review would take place through something called a structured expert dialogue, uh, which would involve experts looking at the difference between what a two degree world would look like versus a one and a half degree world. That expert dialogue has complete, been completed and just a, a few weeks ago, the report was presented and was considered at the UNFCC meeting in Bonn in June this year. And I'll summarize, they have 10 uh, major messages coming out, but I'll summarize the main message which is as follows. While two degrees is safe for many countries and many ecosystems, it is not safe for all countries and all ecosystems. And in order to enhance the level of safety to include those most vulnerable countries, communities, ecosystems, species, we need to think about a one and a half degree target which allows those to be saved. Now we realize a one and a half degree target is very difficult to achieve and it will take a lot of uh, inputs, but we believe it's both technically and financially achievable. What we are lacking is political will and that's what we want to do. So in uh, Bonn, in the UNFCC meeting, the least developed countries had a press conference of which I facilitated where they uh, supported and reiterated the one and a half degree target. The climate vulnerable countries, which is another group of leaders of different vulnerable countries also did the same. Uh, the youth group did a demonstration, the Climate Action Network NGOs uh, had press conferences and a special issue of their uh, daily newspaper called ECO on this issue in support of the one and a half degree uh, temperature goal. This is still a very, very contentious issue because uh, not only are countries not even uh, able to meet two degrees, there is very strong pressure to try and give up on the two degree target as being simply too difficult. Uh, and there are many voices making this case, particularly in the scientific community, people thinking that it's too late. Um, on the other hand, there are uh, scientists as well as people working on technologies who feel that with the right kind of incentives and investments, it is possible to ramp up our uh, speed of uh, renewable energy De, uh, deployment and uh, divestment out of uh, fossil fuels and stopping fossil fuels as quickly as possible so that the one and a half degree target can actually be achieved. Uh, we believe it can be achieved and we hope that in Paris uh, there will be an agreement to move the target from two degrees to one and a half degrees but we realize it's a very tall order. I will be com continuing to report back on this in the run-up to Paris and at Paris uh, so if you're interested in the topic please keep in uh, abreast of our uh, video logs as they come out.